Right, uh, I'm going to try and make a video about consciousness today. Um, what consciousness is, uh, what constitutes being conscious, and um, what we can do with it basically. Uh, perhaps things like time travel, remote viewing, um, telepathy, mind over matter, that, all, that, all that kind of stuff. Um, okay? Right, so what is being conscious basically? I mean, I've got, got a few notes here and stuff. Basically, it means awareness of one's own self and identity. Um, for example, I'm conscious now, I'm me, obviously. You know, I'm aware of what I'm doing, I can feel this. I know that I'm looking at a camera, for example, I've got a remote control in my hand. And that means I'm conscious, in, in the sense of the word, that, that's what consciousness means. It means a basic awareness of self. Um, I think there's a lot more subtle levels to consciousness, though, you see. I think the easiest way to look at it first off is um, consciousness means, in the simple, simple terms, it means we've got a larger brain than, than a lot of animals, basically. Um, if you compare the difference between an unconscious animal, what, what a human would uh, class as unconscious, to a conscious human, which we consider ourselves to be, um, the difference is animals act without thinking. They're not, they haven't got the choice that we have, in a sense. Um, if you go to an animal and it's scared, it will react the same way all the time, unless it's been trained otherwise by humans who are conscious. If it's in the wild, um, pure and unadulterated, basically, an animal will, will just react instinctively, unconsciously, so to speak. It will just it will, it will just react in a predefined path. It will either run away or attack or reproduce um, in its own way. And they're not conscious. They haven't got the the decision making process that, we, that we've been enabled with, basically. Um, they, they can't think about it, they can't decide, oh, well, I don't feel like reproducing today, or, oh, perhaps this person, since they're talking English, and saying, hello, I don't want to hurt you. I mean, an animal can't understand that, they're not conscious, so they haven't got that decision-making process, but we have, you see. That's, that's the difference in human terms. Um, for example, I'm, I'm fully aware that I'm talking to a video camera, as I've said, um, rather than just acting in a predefined way somehow and just, just sort of walking around eating, sleeping, talking, whatever it is, because I'm conscious and aware of what I'm doing. So now that we know that that's, that's the basic difference, I mean I'll answer this on the forum as well, any questions that's fine, um, this is just, just to get the discussion going really. Um, so now we know what consciousness is, the, the difference between humans and animals basically. Um, in this sense, that's, that's the easiest way to get into this whole, whole topic, I think, really. Um, what, what is consciousness, physically? Um, if you look at the brain, um, the sensory nervous systems, everything, of everything, every living thing that there is, it's all electricity, okay? Um, we're all made of atoms, so to speak, but atoms are electricity. This change that I'm talking about, the one, two, three, negative, positive, neutral, you know, theory of everything, all this other stuff, the, the three types of change. It's electricity, that's the easiest way to visualise it. I see it as sort of, a, sort of a white, white and yellow force, I suppose, a bit like a cross between light, light and particles, really, I think. I see, I see this flow in my mind, you know. Um, and basically, the human brain is electricity. All, all my thoughts, my consciousness, if you like, inverted commas, is electricity, okay? All the nerves, like the nerves making my arm do this at the moment, making my eyes work, it's electricity. Um, based on atoms as well, that's why I've got three three ways to do things at all times, you see. That's why I've got a centre line down the body, as I've said, and the left arm, the right arm, and everything else, okay? Um, and uh, if you think about it, everything's made of energy, the same energy, the same electricity, the, the atomic energy, which is electricity. So the same energy that makes up the tree that I can see out the window that you can't see on this camera, for example, is exactly the same energy, fundamentally, as the energy that makes my thoughts, the electricity, electricity um, that all my nervous system and everything else is exactly the same as this tree outside or any other, other animal. It's even the same as inanimate objects as well because they're made of atomic energy too. They've got the same three potentials of change. Um, if I take some, some rock for example, it could be a rock, not a rock, plus neutral. I know this sounds ridiculous, but in pure theory, pure veto thought, beyond thought, this is what happens. And 
So basically what I'm saying is, everything is made of atoms, everything is made of the same thing, the same kind of thing, the same three potentials, electricity, okay, electrical change. Um, this is the way that I visualise everything. Um, th this is how I see the whole, the whole lot. It's, it's all the same kind of electricity on different levels, different amounts. Um, a different amount and combination of the same electricity makes up this tree outside that I'm talking about, or the radio next to this camera, or the video camera. A different amount makes this piece of paper, a different amount makes me, a different amount makes my friends, for example, because they're slightly different to me, obviously, in some structure. But this, nevertheless, we're still the same electric, electricity, you see. We've still got the same thoughts. And the consciousness, like I say, is based on the brain. The brain is made of electricity, okay? Um, for example, I'm manic depressive. Um, and what that means is, I get these extreme mood swings from extremely high to extremely low, basically. and mixed state as well, which would be the neutral, not one or the other, um, so to speak. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so basically we've got electricity in my brain, and when, when I can't get through a certain thought, um, something gets stuck in my mind, it means that the electricity can't break through, you see. Um, because, it's, like I say, it's all electricity, that's the best way to visualise it. And like I say, with consciousness, I mean, remote viewing and things, for example, um, mind over matter, you know, psychic powers, mind reading, all these kinds of things. I mean, some of it is a trick, some of it's a magic trick done by people, but some of it isn't, okay? And we can't prove this wrong either. And historically, people have switched off, haven't they? Oh, I went to see a psychic, for example, or such and such, a, you know, astrology and things like this. Um, people switch off because they think, oh, it's just, it's just a joke, you know, it's just pretend. It's, you know, I really believe in this and it, it's an assumption. But it is possible, certainly it is possible. I mean, because of the loop of nature of growth theory, we can't define whether it's possible, not possible or neutral, 100%. But it, we can't define that it's not possible either, you see what I mean? Okay, and if, if we're all made of the same electric, electricity, okay, that means that I can get in touch with that tree if I want to, or this video camera, or like I say, the radio next to me, or the radiator, or the air, anything. And radio waves as well. It's electricity, everything is electricity. So, if we've got flowing electricity in our minds, which is thoughts, then surely, if other people have got thoughts, then we can interact with them, you see, because it, it comes down to sort of, the past, present and future, I suppose, that's, that's the main thing with consciousness. Um, as we currently view consciousness, consciousness, we're in the present, aren't we? I mean, this is, this is me right now, you know, I'm aware right now, and I feel as I'm going forward, you see. But I mean, we have to define what time is and stuff to be conscious. I mean, would there be any consciousness if there were no humans here, for example? If there was nothing conscious in the way that we know it, no human brain anywhere in the universe, would there still be consciousness? Um, my answer to that are there's three possibilities that we can't define one or the other 100% over another possibility basically. But um, like I say, basically consciousness is the ability to be aware of your surroundings. I mean, basically I, I was just born um, back in 1979. I was born, I mean, one day I wasn't there and then the next day I was on earth and I, I was born, I had thoughts, I was aware of myself, um, aware of my parents, my surroundings and I'm still here now, you know, 28 years later. But I was just born into consciousness so I mean I don't know any better than you, you know.